So welcome back to our channel. It's been a few days. Uh, we've been stuck indoors for a couple of days purely because there has been so much rain and so many thunderstorms. So today we decided that we're gonna head out to one of the most famous hotspots here in Manila. We haven't actually been to it properly before, although we did visit an area of it. It's where all the expats decide to live. It's where some famous vloggers decide to put their bases, and that is BGC. Now, BGC is very similar to Makati because it is very built up. It's a very business area, very developed, and it seems to be where everybody flocks to. Um, we always get um, recommended to go to either BGC or Makati, especially to um, get a condo or an apartment or to live. It's been recommended so many, many times. So we know BGC is very famous here and it's very well loved. So we thought, why not go and explore what BGC has to offer? We wanna see what it's like in comparison to Makati now that we've kind of got used to where we've been. Uh, we know where we love to walk, we know restaurants we love to go to, but we really wanna see what all the fuss is about when it comes to BGC. Okay. You gonna go BGC? Are you gonna go to BGC? Yeah. Do you know what BGC means? Yeah. What does it mean? Uh, it means, what is it? <laughs> it means Bonificio Global City. Name? Global City. What, what is that place? We're going to go see. You're going to go check it out? Yeah. Do you want to tell everybody, let's go? Yeah. Go on then, say. Let's go. Let's go. So what are your expectations on BGC? Do you think it's going to be similar to Makati? Completely different? Do you think you'll like it more than Makati? Um, I've grown to love Makati, so I really like it. I think there's a lot bigger, like malls like SM Aura. Yeah. And uh, looks massive and lots of things outside. So, and I'll be interested to see Market Market. Yeah. But is that because you want more food? Yeah, yeah. I do like food. <laughs> but the important thing is, can I find a belt? Because everywhere I go, I can't find a belt for myself. I know. We're on the hunt for a belt. We've been to H and M, and they have your size, but it's always out of stock. Yeah. So if yeah. anybody, well, I'd say if anybody knows, but by the time this goes out, it won't, it won't be real time. But it may be the next time you see Kev, he'll have a very nice shiny belt. Yeah. <laughs> we get to the elevators. We always play this game about which one is going to be the one that comes down the quickest, and whoever stands by that elevator wins. So yeah, every single day we do this now. <laughs> we have the elevator game because there's so many that we just all choose one to uh, pick as our winner. <laughs> and Kev's pretty confident over there. Me and Oslo won, yay, you're the winner. Yeah, we won the elevator yeah. game. Yeah. <laughs> be careful. So when we came through, um, up to it, there was a massive building and I was like, wow. I've seen Market Market, I saw it, but it's further Did down, you? yeah. But it's that, got a massive sign as well. Uh, yeah, we'll have to I'm go there. Fine, but this was massive. Yeah, it does look huge. <laughs> we'll have a look around. Little bakery and it's all in pink, but you get to bake in there. That's so cool on the hunt for a belt. Hopefully he will find one, otherwise his trousers will not be staying up for much longer. <laughs> Got it? I think so. So first impressions of BGC, it is very fancy and we, we get it. Even just kind of driving to SM uh, Aura, which is where we're at now, we definitely understand the kind of the want to be here like it is it's beautiful it's a really lovely area but we're just going to be walking around now uh, SM Aura it is a huge mall and we're just going to have a look around and see what it has to offer hi you want 
going to eat? Yeah. Well, we might go to Market Market though. Yeah. No? So one of the perks of this mall, which is SM Aura, is the outside um, rooftop park. Now we've never discovered one of these before in any other mall, so it seems to be quite unique to this mall, but the view is absolutely stunning. It is boiling today, um, but you can pretty much see the whole of BGC just from where we're standing, it is beautiful. So I'm gonna show you some views right now, but it is amazing up here. The thing I would say it's similar to is the Greenbelt Mall, where you've got the kind of green area in the middle of the mall but in SM Aura it is right at the top on the top floor so it is a complete full rooftop park. I think there's a dog park which I'm just walking past now and there may be a children's park further down but you can also eat up here it is stunning but it is so hot today <laughs> but it's so beautiful I'm just walking towards the kind of mountain area the view is stunning. What do you think? It's very unique, isn't it? To one of like we've never seen a rooftop garden before in a mall with like mountains. <laughs> it is really cool. Although Harry's now going to get himself soaked. <laughs> As mentioned earlier, it's actually more of a dog park and dog area than it is actually a children's one. There's like a massive doggy assault course, shops for dogs. Uh, drinks for dogs all sorts of things and as we've said in one of our videos before that you guys love your dogs so we completely understand why this is up here market it is a very busy day here in BGC market market isn't too far away from SM Aura so we're just walking it more I've uh, seen since Yeah, then, it's yeah. definitely busier than the SM Aura. The SM Aura was really quiet. We were like, where is everybody? And now we know. <laughs> But this little market area in the middle of the Ayala Mall has so many cute little stores. There's like loads of sticker makers and loads of creative people around. And as an artist, like, this is like sticker crazy. We love it. There's like comic book sales, there's like journaling things. It's so cool. It's actually one of the best little marketplaces I've ever seen. It's so cool. It's actually got some really cool, unique businesses in here. And we're really interested in like Filipino business because it's, it's so cool. It's so many great people here. It's amazing. We found this really nice play park for the kids to go in, although it is still very, very hot. But we, it's closed. There's also like a dog park. This is the dog park, right? And look how much fun it looks for like a child. I thought when I came out it was a kids park and then realized it's a dog park. But then we looked over here and this is the kids one. But they're both closed today, which is really frustrating, but it is really hot today. So I don't think we'd be out here for very long anyway. So we were about to head out to the main high street. But it is very hot. 
just standing out of the shade you get absolutely scalded by heat and it's amazing it's so good to see a nice sunny day so i think we might try and find somewhere to eat there was a little lumpia stand in the um market marketplace and it's the it's like the meat and veggies in like the pastry oh. yeah oh yeah yeah and then maybe go to Popeyes. We've not tried Popeyes here in the Philippines. Uh, we don't have it in the UK at the moment. We only have like one. And by the time they all opened, we actually left the UK. We're going to go find some food. We're going to walk back through the Ayala Market Market Mall. And yeah, I was so tempted to buy all those stickers and stationery and stuff. I hope that's like an ongoing thing here that they have like little stores all the time because we love looking at Filipino businesses and we love seeing things like that. But yeah, I may have to go pick some up on the way back in. some lechon and rice to try we're always on the hunt for very good lechon even though we're not in Cebu at the moment we know that's where the best one comes from but we're still trying to find the best one in Luzon all right Harry's taste test good <laughs> daddy taste test so this was 130 pesos with rice and lechon uh, which is around what two pounds, two pounds something. I'll again, I'll, I'll put it in the screen, but it's about it was 130 pesos. Sorry, just for this one meal, which is so good. the skin is a lot more soggier just uh -huh. because it's been out for so long but this one's still got a nice crack to it it's nice really good Check in these little mac and cheese 
these bites, the hot ones, are delish. Definitely go for them, they're so good. Enjoying it, you got spaghetti everywhere. <laughs> everywhere. Oh no. Kev went back and got his Popeye order instead. So yeah, <laughs> been a busy one, isn't it? I think he's been standing in there for literally about 20 minutes. That's how busy it is today in, um, in the BGC Popeyes. Oh. What did you go for? The chicken and rice? Uh, yeah, should have got eggs and fries, but I, I guess didn't get that. It's fine, but it's fine. I just don't think you're very good at ordering. <laughs> so Kev's determined to find the high street and now that it's cooled down just a little bit because the sun's gone in now, uh, we've decided to brave the weather and continue our little exploration of BGC. I'm not really sure what this area is called. Do you know what it is? Nope, we don't know. We're just winging it today, but it's definitely really fun to have a little look around. We have a Gino's pizza. We have one of these down Rada Street in Makati and it's our favourite place to get pizza at the moment. And the guys know us really well there now, so we always say hi to them. But yeah, definitely a great place to stop off for good pizza if you've never been here before. So the BGC High Street is very like, it's like its own little world. It's very different to Makati. Makati is not like this. You really do have to walk around and find what you're looking for in Makati, whereas BGC just happens to have it all in one like little oasis. I think that's what it feels like. It's just like an oasis in the middle of all of the skyscrapers and uh, apartment condos. It's definitely very different to where Makati is, in my opinion anyway, but it's definitely really interesting to walk around. So the high street just seems to go on and on and on and on. And the further I get into it, the more it reminds me very similarly of being in like Hollywood. I feel like if the Philippines was ever to have its own very nice, rich kind of where all the stars live, it would be definitely BGC. There are some killer cars around there is just a lot of wealth around here you can really see it more so than you can in makati um but it definitely feels like the hollywood of the philippines to me anyway yeah i can take a picture looking cool so we see juicy vlog always no. goes with shake shack so i no. think that might be the one do we think we found the juicy shake shack if you guys know then give us a like in the comments and let us know if we've officially found the juicy vlog shake shack <laughs> So there's a little market outside here again with loads of new street vendors and people that sell all their homemade crafts and food. It's so cool here. I'm actually really enjoying it at the moment. So the BGC High Street just looks like it keeps on going on forever. Now we've reached this kind of jungly part very cool so we're walking through here and just having a little look to see what is at the other side of this so what do you reckon do you prefer bgc or do you prefer makati i like makati because it's more what i want from philippines yeah this is nice it's one long street with a lot of green greenery and all the shops but i i prefer makati i don't know why yeah I think Makati has more of that kind of lived-in feel, whereas yeah. I feel like here is very, it's very much, it just reminds me of Hollywood, that's all I can keep thinking, because I've been there before and it, it just reminds me of it so much. So Kev's just booked a grab um, and it's around 10 minutes away. It is very busy in BGC, getting around here we can imagine is very difficult and takes a very long time, so getting a grab here, it's probably been the longest waiting time we've had to wait for one so far. Um, but the kids and I have just got that little bit too hot and we've walked quite a while today. We've been here since around midday. Um, 
yeah, um, I think we've seen everything there is to see so far. Obviously, there's things to do. We are literally sitting opposite the Mind Museum as we speak, and it's definitely somewhere where we really want to take the kids. Um, we've literally got the Tyrannosaurus Rex uh, zebra crossing right in front of us. It's really fun. And we definitely, definitely want to show the kids this, but there's just so much to look at in BGC. Because everything's so well maintained and all the roads have got all these little shops and coffee shops and food places. There's just too much to see in just one day. So we will be coming back to BGC and we'll have a much more thorough look. If there's any recommendations here that you guys would recommend us to go and look at in BGC, then please leave your comments down below. But we're gonna get our grab now and we'll meet you back at our apartment. already pooped aren't you? Um, <laughs> I've been yawning all the way home. Have you? Yeah. <laughs> he wants me to take a picture of his foot. Why do I want to take a picture of your foot? My favorite, my favorite thing was the food. Food? Yeah. You love was, food. Because it was delicious. Yeah? Yeah. So why am I taking a picture of your foot? Is it stinky? It is. Give it a smell. Ew. <laughs> so my final verdict of BGC, Kev has decided that he definitely prefers Makati. I feel like because we're used to it and we know the area and we have just got used to our view from our bedroom, that we just know Makati a lot better than BGC. Um, so I completely understand where he's coming from. I do also understand why it has become a blogger's paradise and why it looks the way it looks and is the way it is. I don't feel like if you ever lived in BGC, you would ever have to come out of that area because everything is there. Makati, you do have to walk around and find those little pockets of places. You've got to research the restaurants. You've got to do the walking. Whereas BGC, you've just got to go from the mall, the market market, you go all the way down the street and you're right at the end of it where the My Museum is. And all throughout there, it's just shops, restaurants, bars, cafes everything is there you would never need to go anywhere else to do anything so i completely understand why people use it as their base and why it has become a haven for bloggers and for a lot of expats however there's something missing in bgc that i don't get there that i do get more in makati and a lot of people have already mentioned this in the comments that makati and bgc you won't you won't get that real localness of the area here in Makati, it's very difficult now for us to really bond with locals because people are in their own worlds, they're getting on with things, they're very, very busy. Makati is a very highly busy functioning place. It's the business area of the city. So everybody is constantly working and constantly going about their day. So it's very difficult to stop by and have a great conversation with somebody. We tend to go to the markets and we have such a good fun because you can just sit down and talk to so many locals there. So that is why we have really come to enjoy Makati. Whereas BGC to me feels like the place where the super wealthy, the supercars, the real like Hollywood Boulevard area really, really is. So if you really aren't into that more rural experience and you want to be somewhere where you feel like a Western city, like New York, like London, then BGC is definitely going to be the city for you. However, I feel like if I was in BGC, I would never want to leave BGC. I feel like I would be too comfortable and too, it's just too easy to be there. And you don't get to have those experiences when you have to walk out your door and navigate where you're going because BGC, all the roads look the same. It is very, very well laid out. The signposts are really clear. There is literally signing everywhere. It's very easy to know where you are and it's all within walking distance. It's so clean and well maintained. It's a beautiful area of Taguig. I just feel like there's something missing. I feel like we were out of our depths. I felt like we weren't like rich enough to be there. <laughs> it feels like when you go to like a very posh area of London and you just feel really out of your depth and out of your comfort zone. It felt a little bit like that. Whereas Makati feels more like we could really be here and fit in better. So I feel like that's my kind of overall thoughts and feelings about BGC. We definitely want to go back. And as I said earlier, if you have any recommendations apart from the Mine Museum, because I do know about that one already, um, then please leave them down below. Any really cool places to eat or places to visit and see with the kids. 
uh, then let us know because we'd love to know. But before I leave, I am going to share with you one more thing. As I mentioned earlier, we went to Ayala Mall and we went to the Market Market. Um, and in there, I don't know whether this was just a one-off or just a weekend market or whether these guys are here every single week. But we went there and there was like a little stationery sticker comic convention kind of going on. There was like crochet artists and sticker artists and journal artists. And if you don't know me, that's completely my thing. So we picked up a couple of things from a few local businesses, which is always so fun. Um, I already seen a few local businesses when we went to Rockwell and we now follow them and hopefully in the future we can support them as well by purchasing something because it's amazing. Um, but this one is by the artist Jay. I'm gonna I'm gonna really butcher this because we still haven't got our Tagalog pronunciation correct. So I'm gonna show it as well and I will also put it up on the screen. So if you're interested in artists or you love following things like this, then we will put these on so you can follow them as well. But we basically got these cute little Ponyo stickers. Um, as we've already mentioned before, our kids love uh, Ghibli films and we love Ponyo. Ponyo is my son's favourite. I mean, they always are going to remind me of him forever and ever and ever. We used to watch Ponyo like a hundred times a day. So I got the Ponyo ones because I had to. She had all the Ghibli ones and also other characters as well as her own um, original art too. And it's just so fun to see and so cool. Eventually this would be a dream of mine. Um, but her name is J Yay Art. J J Ayn art i'm really sorry if i've got that wrong but again i will leave everything on the screen and also it's just there for you to see so they were really cool and then i also picked up another couple of stickers from another artist there were honestly too many to choose from and it's really annoying that i didn't get to be able to go everywhere because i probably would have spent a lot of money on stickers um but i've got these couple of stickers apologies they are a little bit uh how do i say it they're nude <laughs> um so i got these two and they are so friggin sweet and uh, I just love them. Like the art on here is so unique. Like I've not seen anything like that. And this is from, I, I can't, I'm gonna. <laughs> this is by the artist Lakimata Tinderham. Again, I'll put it on the screen because I think I've got that wrong. Uh, but Lakimata, L-A-K-I-M-A-T. So I will leave those all on the screen if you want to support local artists as well um, and check out when they're probably going to be in the next area. I'm definitely going to check these guys out and see where they are next. Um, this is one thing I've really noticed about the city in general is that Manila really, really shows off local small businesses and Instagram artists and all those things that me and Kev absolutely love. Like we love food and we love art and we love culture and we just love all of it and small businesses it's just something we've always been passionate about so yeah really cool people um and i'm really sad i didn't get a chance to go and get stickers from a lot of other places because they were all amazing we are hoping in the future me and kev to do something very very similar to this i'm not going to mention anything right now but we are trying to think of our own version of maybe merch or something very similar, um, but something to do with something we're extremely passionate about and not just doing something for the sake of it. So this is very similar to what we would love to do in the future. So if that sounds like something you guys would be interested in, then leave a like down below. So that is the end of today's video. We've had a lot of fun today going around BGC, but we are exhausted. So we're gonna take a really long break and I've got lots of comments to answer today because it is an upload day. So yeah, we are going to say goodbye now and we really hope you enjoyed today's video. Uh, we will see you in the next one and everybody has to say, bye. Salam. <laughs> Salam. Salam Matpo. Salam Matpo. Salam Matpo. Well done.